When we see Internet of Things, let's make it about Internet of Beings. When we see virtual reality, let's make about shared reality. When we see machine learning, let's make it about collaborative learning. When we see user experience, let's make it about human experience. And whenever we hear that the singularity is near, let us always remember. The plurality is here. The cyberspace is formed through a formless protocol. The protocol, called the Internet Protocol, links not only people with each other, but also beings with each other. With Internet of Beings, mountains. Rivers gain their spirit. We can see, for example, through natural personhood, the Wanganui River in New Zealand can gain a seat in any ruling constitutions. The Internet of Beings also enables future generations to talk through projections, through scenarios. Through the different configurations of their life livelihoods, as well as shrinking ourselves to the perspective of a cat, of a dog, of a young child, when we're deliberating about a physical space, common utilization. And so, I would encourage you to think about the Internet of Trees, the Internet of Forests, the Internet that links. All the living beings together, so that we can truly see, in a transcultural fashion, that there is no single singularity, but rather the internet of beings brings us plurality.